Okay folks, my name's Anthony Valentine the Camper Nerd. Today I'm going to be showing you around this 2003 Auto Sleeper Trooper. Well, 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 this is top of the line. Last of the T4s before we went on to the T5. This is actually the LE model, which stands for Luxury Extra. This literally has got all the bits and bobs. We've got twin airbags, power steering, the top of the range 2.5 TDI turbo diesel engine. It recently added a new turbo. I think that was last year. That's all documented in the service history. Um, electric windows, electric mirrors, remote central locking. Yeah, quite a few nice features. If you consider this was uh, come out of the factory in 2003. So it's whoops, 18 years young. Alloy wheels. It's completely original, the, with the exception it's had rear parking sensors under the rear bumper and it's got two side running boards either side they can easily be removed if you want it completely back to the original i don't think they're doing any harm it's only had three owners and wait for it it's only done thirty-seven thousand miles it drives lovely i drove this back uh, last month all the way back uh, just shy of glasgow so i completed about just a 200 mile journey drives lovely uh, I think we've even got four matching recent Bridgestone, in fact I know we have, four matching Bridgestone tyres. Um, it's just about to run out of MOT, so I'm going to send it in for MOT this week. I think on the last MOT, feel free to get the registration number and check it online. You'll see all the mileage and any pass advisories. Um, but I think on the last MOT it had steering rack lay. I think it was something like that. I'm not sure whether that's been done. I'll have that looked at before it goes in for MOT. It'll have a new MOT this week, 12 months with no advisories. Whatever this baby wants, it will have. I'm that confident I will personally deliver it anywhere in the country myself for viewing before you part with your hard earned money. So for any reason, upon viewing and delivery, if it's not for you, don't worry, I'll bring it back and I'll sell it to the next person. So you're completely in control. I'm that confident. I'm well known for my love of auto sleepers. I've got quite a few in stock at the moment. Um, this T25, which is the Type 3, will be coming on sale shortly. And also, just behind us, I've got an all, another T4, and that's an auto sleeper Clubman GL. That will also be coming on. In fact, that's coming on sale next. Okay, let's just show you around. So we've got the diesel flap here. We've got the Fiorma F45S awning, that's all fully functional, I'll show you that in the picture shortly. Um, as I say, the last owner, one of the last owners, has had the uh, reversing parking sensors fitted. They're working and go beep 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 as you get closer to any uh, obstacles. Uh, the single socket tow bar, little sneak peek. And that's the crank handle for the awning. I'll go into further detail shortly when I take over the camera. Coming around the driver's side. So I've just got it plugged in to show you the fridge working on mains. So we've got the mains inlet, we've got the water inlet, we've got the vents for the fridge. It's got the passenger swivel seat and there's the drive. It's just spotless. It really is. Let's have a quick look under the bonnet. So there it is, absolutely beautiful. The last owner, Molly Coddled it. He just, he loved to clean it inside. He's even waxed and cleaned under the wheel arches. Well, that's your 2.5 TDI turbo diesel engine. Oh yeah, underneath is lovely as well. It would, uh, it's gonna last the length of time, I think, this one. So a little look inside, we'll have a little flyover showing you the roof and then I'll take over the camera. Okay Dennis
So thanks for the flyover, Dennis. So stepping inside, wow. I do like showing off a, a nice auto sleeper. Side loading door. So as you can clearly see there, the front passenger seat is a captain swivel. Very extensive service history and paperwork file. Uh, the service book, the VW one, has not been stamped and been stamped once. Uh, originally, um, I think it was about 7,000 miles. Then there's a gap to 20,000. And then there's lots of bills from 20,000 miles. But it's only had three owners. Um, just coming back to the service history before I start showing the features. Um, it had, uh, it's on 38,000 miles now. The camera can zoom in there. 38,000 miles. At 37,500, it had a new timing belt, a new turbo fitted oil at just about a month or so before that. It had pollen filter, fuel filter. And in 2018, and it had only done 37,000 miles then, it had a full timing belt, including water pump. So she's ship shape and ready. So in the cab, we've got the electric windows, electric mirrors, power steering, um, air conditioning, twin airbags. Just spam the camera around slowly. And there you have it. Motor Sleeper's tried and tested formula for VW camper vans. The side kitchen and the rock and roll bed both 3.3 3 point uh, seat belts we've got the full control panel there very straightforward habitation battery or vehicle battery not very a good idea to power everything off the vehicle battery you wouldn't want to come back to a, a flat battery but so always go off the habitation battery and this one has got the top of the range Aspasia diesel night eater so that's a, a blown hot air system that will blow out of those vents there and that will work off the diesel in the fuel tank this particular one is the 2 plus 2 model so upstairs you've got either room for storage or you can pull this here using the handle pull it all the way back and now you've got an area for two small children, if you wish. Just pop, pop that back over. And that just slides right over, nicely and neatly. And then if there's only two of you, you could use that for storage. All matching interior and upholstery. Oh, one of the owners done a nice little feature there of uh, making some mini mirrors. Fully functioning blackout blinds, as well as fly nets all round. Incidentally, this had a habitation service last Tuesday. Uh, it passed out. It had a new gas bottle, uh, gas hose, pipe, and regulator to conform to the late, latest gas, sa gas safety regulations. But yeah, so it's got a habitation certificate just being issued as well. It's going in for the MOT in the next couple of days, so it'll have a new 12 months MOT. All it wants is a new owner. There's a a nice storage area. It has two removable bins. One, two, and then you can store below there as well. I couldn't have got much more in this tight space. Cold running water. I'm not sure if it's got any water in or the pumps on. There we go. Yep. It's working fine. Turn the pump off. Two burner gas hobs and grill. It's a bit tricky holding the camera, but I'll try. We'll just uh, switch one on and demonstrate. There we go. That's actually the reflection, as you can see there. We'll try the other one. And while I'm underneath, we'll try the grill. Okay, nice blue flames, that's what we're looking for all the time. I don't know whether we can angle the camera. A bit tricky. But we can just about get under the grill there. Just about see the grill working there. And we can show you everything's working. 
tested out and passed out on the habitation service. It's all spotless. Three-way fridge, so I've got it plugged into the mains at the moment. The easiest way is to leave these in the on position all the time, then it, it basically goes into the automatic um, switching from what you're doing. So if you're plugged into the mains, it will automatically power and light up green there. This one's the 12 volts, only 12 volts when the engine's running. You don't wanna run out for the battery or run down it rather. So as soon as the engine starts, this will light and it will power off the 12 volt engine. It's fridging nicely. Over the camera can see, but it's icing up there. There you go, it's icing up nicely. And it also works off gas. So if you're wild camping, you just switch the igniter there, leave it to keep sparking, turn the gas into the on position, hold it in for a few seconds, and then after a while, it's just stopped sparking. So that means the pilot's lit. Holding this in for three, four, five seconds, let go, make sure it stops sparking, it is done. So that is now lit. Tricky to get on the pilot light, but that you'll be able to look down that PPO alert and see the pilot light. Always leave the igniter in the on position. That means then if they run out of gas or, well, not run out of gas, if there was a gust of wind and it blew the glass flame out for any reason or there was a fault and it just flickered out, it would reignite automatically. So I'll just demonstrate that feature now. So we're just going to turn the gas off. And there she is, lighting. So you always leave that lighter in the on position until you've finished. So we have finished now, so we've turned the gas off and we'll turn it off. Lovely cabinet work by Auto Sleeper. They do take the uh, test of time, these. There's your mains trip fuse box. You've got the override gas isolator safety taps. And this button is designed for a porta potty. I think it's the models of 335. Yes. And this is a brand new, so I've put you a brand new porta potty, unused 3V5, and that just fits in absolutely perfect. It was designed for that exact model. So that's not going to be moving them out. Underneath the rock and roll bed, we've got the, the small table. That's matching the original woodwork all round. So we've got the small table there. We've got the leg here, that's for the large table which is nicely stowed behind the driver's seat. And we've also got the side smaller leg, which neatly goes, do you think, of everything auto sleeper in there. So it'll go in there, slot into the, go into that little groove there, tighten up the handle there, twist that round, and that will give you a smaller table at the front. So you can have a smaller table, larger table, or both together. Okay, not much more to show you inside. But there's not all the upholsteries as it should be. And all the woodwork and everything's fully functioning and working as checked out with the habitation service. So you've got access to the wardrobe through there or through the rear. What have we got in there? Oh, we've got the uh, we've got a mains hookup lead and a 240 mains adapter plug, and in here it's powered, I think, on camping gas. Yeah, so there you have. There's room there for a second spur bottle. Always recommended. You can pull this uh, shelf out, and then you've got a feature there for sitting down. I do know some people that also have get an awning. They can put an awning, leave the tailgate up. And then you've got more space there, or of course you, you've also got the, the Fiona F45 awning. That's the industry standard. Parts are readily available and you can uh, get a zip on safari room to go on the sides and make a, a complete outside area. Okay, so my name's Anthony Valentine, the Camper Nerd. I'm well renowned in the industry for my love of auto sleepers. I'll be 
happy to deliver this anywhere in the United Kingdom myself. And just a £500 deposit, even that will be returned if for any reason you don't like it. I find that hard to believe, but uh, if you can find fault with this particular one. But yes, I'll be happy to answer any sensible questions. My name's Anthony Valentine, and you can contact me on 0798 526 1078. Thanks for watching, folks.